Good afternoon from Bishes RV of the Quad Cities. This is Pete, and today we've got a 2023 Grand Design Explorer. This model number is 247BH. This bunkhouse floor plan, again, is a 2023 unit and presented to you by Bishes RV. Okay, we'll start as we usually do up on the front here with the swept cap. Underneath here, we've got a diamond plate appearance rock chip guard on there on the a-frame on the there's a power tongue jack twin 20 pound lp tanks and the deluxe molded easy access top cover carrier here's the offside we'll take a quick peek at the offside here and down underneath here it'll pass through storage industry's largest one and look at that that's going to be motion sensor activated lighting on there for you Twin coax connections down underneath here. Now, here is your charge control unit, and that is for the 165-watt solar panel already installed on this particular unit. GFCI-protected electrical outlet. Here is your power cutoff switch, battery kill switch. There is your solar status indicator, fresh tank fill, as well as your uh, tank lever. All in one easy-to-access, convenient, unified center there. Four stabilizer jacks, obviously one to each corner. These are going to be nitrogen-filled radial tires on the tandems there. Del uh, here is your exterior ducted vented range hood. We're going to discover that on the inside a little bit as we go along. All right, black tank flush provided on this unit, as well as the walk-on roof with the ladder, as you can tell, attached there and ready to go. Here is your valve area dump valve area on here we'll take a look at it from this back angle over here spare tire on the tire carrier as you can tell it's installed on here and way up and above you are equipped for the easy addition of a rear vision or backup camera that's an option you may wish to uh, pardon the pun um explore anyway radius cut win uh, tinted safety glass windows now that's going to be, uh, oh, your electrical connection, I failed to mention, was your twist block 30 amp electrical with the 25 foot cord, has a status indicator on the end of the cord. It helps you determine if you have power when you get into your campsite, especially at night. Okay, here you have your spray port. Very easy, convenient place to have that located so you can clean off your awning after use or wash down the front or for whatever purpose you have in mind there. Gravity water filler over on this side. Again, your nitrogen filled radial tires on there. Here is where it's convenient and easy to add an exterior TV. There's a coax output as well as your GFCI protected electrical. Exterior speakers included as well as a scare light on the camp side. Swing out D assist handle. Three step easy step in access way on there for the uh, staircase. All right, we'll take a quick look at this. Here is your power activated 12 volt awning with the adjustable angle arms on there as well. And down underneath here, the rest of your pass-through storage. I wanna say, I think it was in the ballpark of 50 or so cubic feet of storage in here. Wow, and that is way awesome. You know what, I forgot to turn on the motion sensor activated light. There we go, now you can see it even better. Look at that. That is huge pasture for a unit of this smaller footprint. That's terrific. All right, here we've got your handles as well as your hose comes with it. And there's a quick connect LP connector down on the underside there. Tank capacity on your unit, 62 gallons for fresh water, 78 gallons for your gray and the black tank, 39 and we'll step onto the inside. The unit's dry weight, by the way, is 5,400 pounds. That's gonna put it within striking distance of many uh, vehicles, a variety of vehicles, perhaps not necessarily a pickup truck if you don't have one. Double check your capacities, of course. There's a 530 pound uh, downforce on the tongue as well. Length is 30 foot long and 11 feet high. Wow, there's all sorts of stats for you all at once. Wow, I love the way that door slams there that sounds awesome it's a solid unit now uh this particular transcend has the gun stock interior decor and other decors may be available simply inquire regarding the availability of whichever one you happen to be looking at all right let's start right down over here right where we stepped in this is some convenient shoe storage on here as well as a shelf and there you go 
Uh, I'm going to come up over to the top. 15,000 BTU fully ducted AC unit with the quick chill feature on there as well. Okay, this is a convertible dinette. You can convert that over for additional sleeping capacity at your discretion. You can sleep up to 10 people in this unit, if I'm doing my math correctly. Most people would rather sleep a few less than that, but just so you know, that is your capacity. Okay, AM, FM, and DV, or excuse me, AM, FM, Bluetooth, and HDMI inputs, and USB, and RCA, LSD, and... and Never mind. Anyway, entertainment center there. That's with the exterior and interior speakers. Flat screen HD TV. And I'm going to say it's in the ballpark of 34 inch flat screen HD TV, just judging by look. All right, double over double bunks. Here's where, well, here's why you bought a bunkhouse unit was for the bunks. And they're very nicely sized here. You've got USB charge ports for at night, as well as GFCI protected electrical outlets on there too. Reading light underneath, and also the deluxe one up over the top with the window in the back. Hey, now it's time for everyone's favorite room. Yeah, the Biffy, the John, but never mind. Anyway, that is a porcelain china foot flush marine grade stool. We've got about a, I want to say about a 10 inch hop to get from the floor up into the shower so it's not a terribly large not like a bathtub would be and then the full size surround goes all the way up surround yeah goes all the way up and then the skylight overhead disappearing shower door is right on the side and well you know what that is okay and you do have ducting there for ac as well as heat down below is your heat duct let's take a look at the lavatory and there you go. Again, your tank capacity, fresh tank, is going to be 62 gallons and 78 gallons for the gray, 39 for the black tank. You would have to uh, go a long ways to fill up that 39-gallon black tank. Okay, on back out to the rest of the unit. This is a convertible sofa, and it is super-duper comfortable. Jackknife-style sofa you can convert out for additional sleeping capacity, so you can sleep up to two more people in there. These are some really neat balances and window treatments with the pull-down shades on there. We'll take a look up over the top. Okay, over to the refrigerator. This is going to be a 12-volt Furion refrigerator, and it's an 8 cubic foot. We're going to take a peek at it. We're going to back up a little bit here so you can tell. The freezer, of course, up above on that. All right, here's the microwave oven. And the fully ducted exterior vented range hood. Now, we mentioned that earlier. That does take the fumes uh, from your cooking outside. It's not a recirculator, but it does duct truly to the outside like a good one should. All right, let's take a look at your three burner high output range top here. We'll flip the glass cover open. You have lit oven controls on there as well as a oven light as well. Plenty of counter space on here, especially, again, considering the smaller footprint of the model 247BH. This is gonna be a farm style sink, I guess they'd call it, stainless steel. It's undermounted, recessed mounted on the sink. It's much easier and sanitary, easier to clean. High rise faucet, and that's with the spray attachment nozzle. I guess I should back up a little bit when I show that. There we go. There's your thermostat, unified control thermostat, and on we go into the bedroom. Okay, again, look at these balances and the pull down shades. These are really neat. We have shirt closets, a his and hers, one to each side, obviously. Oh, and I forgot to mention, you do have the USB charge ports and the 110 volt access right there, as well as USB charge ports on the opposite side. That's an egress window right through there, but it is a full function egress window. You can use that also for ventilation if you should wish. Rooftop vent, right, well, you're looking right at it. Here's the TV backer area. You're prepped for the easy addition of a bedroom TV, and that's where we would suggest you put that in. We've already got your coax and your 110 volt power. Everything's all set and ready to go for it right through there. We've got your furnace duct down below there, as well as the fuse access in a very convenient, easy to reach, easy to get at location. Let's take a look at the bed from this angle. Plenty of neat storage up overhead. And of course, that's the reading light. And that's a queen size bed. Okay, 
I think we fairly well covered everything. Let's come back around the corner here. And as I say, I think we fairly well covered everything inside this 2023 Grand Design Transcend Explore. Model number again, 247BH. This 2023 unit was presented to you by Bish's RV of the Quad Cities. Thanks for watching and happy trails.